Are you working in sales profession or are you working as a businessman? Then when you are going to sell out your product or services, because that's the only way you can scale up your business, you can scale up your incentives. But what if, if you present your plan, your product or services to the customers and at the end, they will say, I don't have time, I don't have money and blah, 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 blah. They will throw objections on you. You are possible to get ability to buy your products or services. Just let me know which thing is good. Definitely. They will say that I am going to buy your product or services. But for this, what you have to do? You have to ask three simple questions to close that. Yes. Three simple questions you have to ask to your customers, to your prospects to close any day. So I am Prash Agra, business coach, entrepreneur and influencer marketing specialist. So let's start the video. So when you are going to communicate with your prospect, then def definitely you don't have to be a fishy salesperson. Yes, there are so many persons, there are so many salespersons who just want to sell out their product or services rather than understanding about the problems of their prospects. If you are able to configure that, I have to do a genuine conversation with my prospect and to take out the pain points that this person is facing in his or her journey, then definitely you can make a sale at the end. But when you are trying to just sell out your product or services, then 90% chances, in 90% cases, you will get a no at the end. So what you have to do, you have to be genuinely interested in the conversation and you have to understand what are the pain points of my prospects so I can help him or her by, more, by my product or services. Okay, for this you have to find out your target audience but let's suppose you are doing conversation with your prospect and you presented your idea product or services. You have to ask both questions, open ended questions as well as close ended questions. Close ended questions which will eventually lead to a yes at the end of the presentation and open ended questions which help you to understand the problems of the customers so you can pitch out your product or services in the way that it uh, that he or she gonna buy a product or services easily without uh, getting no at the end of the salesperson. So what are the three questions, uh, three questions you have to ask to your customers? First one is when that uh, prospect is agreed to buy a product or services just simply ask what are the qualities what are the things you like about my product or services so you are going to buy that from me just simply ask these questions and try to take out at least 5 to 10 points of that question of that answer from your prospect so that after that you can present a better way in your presentation to sell out your product or services because in that scenario your prospect like the product or services but they don't say that he or she definitely gonna buy your product or services just simply ask what are the things you like about my product or services and ask these questions with a lot of energy with the tonality according to your prospect when you ask this question just be quiet for five seconds for 10 seconds until your prospect starts telling you about that i like that thing that thing that thing in your product or services Okay, that is the first question. And uh, when you are trying to sell out your product or services, um, they already maybe they are already using that product or service from other brand, from other company. So why they will buy your product or services? Yes, you have to switch them from this brand to your brand to make a sale. But what if if they are not agreed to buy your product or services? If they are not agreed to change their brand, so what you can say? The second question is that. Uh, you are already using any product or services. So can you share me some good points as well as bad points that uh, why you are using that product and why? What are the things that uh, you don't like about that product or services? When you ask these questions then it is a good way to understand that uh, why that person is going to buy your product or services. Instead they are using of another brand right now. But when you ask this question, if you simply ask this question, what are the bad points of uh, the products or services you are using right now then they get understand that this person gonna make me gonna sell my their product or services to me to change my brand then at the end you will get no so try to be a smart person try to be a clever person while doing the sales conversation so just ask what are the good points you like about the product or services you are currently using and uh, what are the problems you are facing by using that product or services Okay, in first question you just ask what are the benefits of your product or services by his or her mouth. In second question you just ask what are the problems they are facing by using the current product or services they are utilizing from another brand. And here is the third question that it, let's suppose if you get a chance, let's suppose if you get a chance to design 
that product or services according to you. Then what are the qualities does this product or services have? Will have and uh, what are the things you will craft to add on to get better experience with that product or services? When you ask these simple questions, uh, the third question will definitely get an idea how you can present your idea, how you can present your product or services to that person to make a sale. Definitely. So just uh, that person is uh, giving you hint that uh, how you can sell out your product or services to that person. So what are the three questions you have to ask to your uh, prospect is first, what are the things when, when a prospect like your product or services, what are the things that uh, you will like uh, you like about my product or services which I am presenting to you. Then just be patient until he or she will give you answer. Just note down on your notebook or diary whatever the thing you are carrying while doing the conversation. Second question is what are the products you are using right now? What are the good qualities? Yes, you are just asking about the good qualities of other brand and what are the problem you are facing right now with that product or services you want to improve? People like uh, people like uh, improvement what are the thing they are utilizing so just ask this question and the third question is if you get a chance to design to design any product or services to solve out your sorry, uh, problem then what would it be like and what are the key points that to make that product or services qualitative perfect for your problem okay just ask these three simple questions and you will shift from category of a fishy salesperson to an attractive salesperson. Just try to attract the prospects, attract the clients towards you rather than being a pushy salesperson, you just push your product or services to them. Okay. When doing a sales conversation, if you are not able to configure the pain points, then definitely in 90% chances you will get a no at the end. So try to uh, work on your target audience because on your target audience, you already know that these are the problems they are facing right now about my pro about those product or services and my product or services won't help them because in some cases maybe your prospect are not able to open up with you maybe they are not able to share their actual pain points I said actual pain points to you so you can present your idea according to the problems you already know that uh, these are the problems are tackled by my product or services so you can lead to a better conversation while doing with your prospects. So ask this three simple question and let me know how many percent are you able to convert your prospects into profit based customers. So I hope you like my video. If you have any problem, if you have any query regarding it, just comment down below. I will provide you solution as soon as possible. So subscribe to my YouTube channel, tap on the bell icon so you can get my video first because I am uploading a lot of marketing, sales as well as entrepreneurship content to move you forward in that journey. So when you are doing conversation with your prospect, the main thing, maybe you converted your prospect into customer, but what, what is next? That how you can make more money with your existing customers. Watch that video if you want to make money with your existing customers right now.